So, Mayor Latham, recently you were elected chair of the Eastern Ontario Wardens Caucus. Congratulations on that. Thank you. Uh, what is the purpose of this group, of the EOWC? Who's involved with it? Maybe you could share some of the background here. Sure. The uh, Eastern Ontario Wardens Caucus has been around for about 14 years. Um, it's, a, it's a group that got together from a, a regional perspective. It involves 13 municipalities in Eastern Ontario. Uh, Kawartha Lakes is on the western edge, so us, Halliburton, Peterborough and Northumberland, you know, down to the lake, and then east all the way to Cornwall. Uh, it doesn't include Ottawa. Um, so there's 13 municipalities. Two of them are amalgamated cities, Prince Edward County and Kawartha Lakes, and the rest are counties. So within those counties, they have uh, those 11 counties, they have about 94 townships. So you're talking about a whole lot of people, a whole lot of councillors, different levels of government, and this regional Eastern Ontario Wardens Caucus got together to advocate, uh, to be able to advocate to the provincial government on regional issues instead of just trying to have a single voice when something comes up. Um, they do a great job. I mean, they've been, they've been at it for a long time. Uh, I've been a part of it. This is my fifth year because as a mayor, uh, I'm on board for the full four-year term. But a lot of the wardens from the different counties that are appointed are appointed for a one or a two-year term. So they're not on there for the full term like a mayor is. Um, so it's just an opportunity to discuss some of the things that happen in Eastern Ontario. You know, what are the needs of Eastern Ontario? And when we go to the provincial government to either lobby or to assist them or to work with them on, on some of the different uh, things that we need as a community or as a region, then uh, it gives us a bigger voice, you know, mm -hmm. rather than the core of the lakes just standing up and saying, you know, we need money for this, we need money for that. Uh, we get together as a group, we meet once every couple of months. Um, we meet at various areas around the city. We'll be hosting them in Kawartha Lakes here this year uh, in October, but uh, it gives us a great opportunity to talk about those regional issues and sort of put together a good working plan on, you know, how do we get these concerns um, or requests, you know, in front of the provincial government. And the government has been very respective of the Eastern Ontario Wardens Caucus, has done some great work, uh, implemented some great uh, things over the last bunch of years and uh, as a result of that they they look at the Eastern Ontario Wardens Caucus for guidance on you know when they're looking to make some changes or regulations or legislation uh, it's a little bit of back and forth sometimes it's what we want sometimes they're looking for some feedback on you know what do you guys think of this or what do you you guys and you ladies think of this and uh, it sort of works both ways so it's the wardens and the mayors and our CAOs as well so okay. it's uh, it's a group of about 30 of us and uh, it's 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 been a very uh, very progressive bunch that's great. And, and how will you, being elected as chair, help the average person in Kawartha Lakes? How, in Kawartha Lakes? Yeah. Uh, uh, it's not necessarily for the Kawartha Lakes. I mean, it's, it's more work for me. So, right. you know, that's how it helps me. Uh, but I think what it does is we've got a great relationship right now with the provincial government. Over the last few years, we've uh, sort of nurtured that relationship and, and it seems to be uh, very positive right now. So I think as, as the chair of this caucus, when we go in front of the government, we go in front of the province, we, you know, it's a familiar face because they're familiar with who we are now and, and what we've accomplished here in the Kawartha Lakes. And I think it's just sort of leading that charge. There's a lot of things they need to do in Eastern Ontario that we've already done here mm -hmm. in, in Kawartha Lakes. Um, you know, moving forward with financial plans and such like that. So I think the province respects that. And I think the other wardens uh, and mayors from some of the different areas respect that as well. So, um, you know, anything that can keep the Kawartha Lakes sort of at the forefront and recognition wise in front of the provincial government, I think is, is a win for all our residents as we move forward with those needs and wants, right. you know, a, as a community. But I think uh, in, in terms of helping individual residents, I mean, the Eastern Ontario Regional Network is project is aimed at enhancing, for instance, cell and broadband coverage, right? Yes, it so, is. So yeah. I think there's some, there's some tangible benefits there then perhaps for the average person here Yeah, too. absolutely. And for everybody in Eastern Ontario, I mean, right. that's a huge problem in rural Ontario, right? And, and a huge concern. And the Eastern Ontario Wardens Caucus has identified that as our number one priority. So when you think of all the issues, these 13 um, counties and cities have in Eastern Ontario, all of us have identified the rural broadband uh, cell gap funding as the number one issue. So when we go to the province and we've been beating on them for you know the last year and a half uh, to get this program moving forward, mm -hmm. I think that carries a bit of weight. You know, mm -hmm. we we have we all have our issues, but the fact that we've put those other issues aside and said this is our number one priority right across eastern Ontario. There are 750,000 people in these counties. There's another. 
450,000 in the towns and the cities, you know, the Kingstons and the Cornwalls and the Bellevilles and such. That mayor's caucus, they have their own caucus. Their priority is the, the cell gap and the broadband as well. So I think the federal and the provincial government gets that this is a big concern for rural residents, city of Cortha Lakes included. So what's the impact here for public safety, let's say? Um, public safety is part of it with a cell gap, obviously. If you think about driving down the 401 and you see an accident and you get on your cell phone to, to call for help and there's a cell gap and there's no cell phone coverage, I mean, that's, I won't say it's common, but there are quite a few areas around eastern Ontario. Um, sometimes it's first responders needing to talk to other first responders on not just a local issue or a, an emergency, but something that is, is a bigger scope, mm -hmm. and they have trouble communicating. So adding extra towers, improving on that communication gap is great for local businesses, um, for local people who want to connect, but it's also important from a, from a public perspective of safety mm -hmm. um, for a lot of different ways. You know, when, when we need to get hold of somebody in an emergency, it's, uh, it's pretty tough sometimes to get out of your car, run and try and find a, a pay phone or a landline, you know, to try these to call days. for help yep. these days especially. Yep. So, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, what's the impact here for local businesses? I think it's a big win for local businesses if we can move it forward. Um, about five, five or six years ago, there was uh, Eastern Ontario Warrens Caucus originated a plan with the federal and provincial government to increase the broadband capacity, and they did. They sort of moved that capacity from this, you know, to this, and they brought it. And then it's up to the regional, local providers to, you know, to get that out to the neighborhoods and, and, and to the different communities, and sometimes that's a challenge as well. What this is doing is what we're proposing now is now that we have that increased capacity, is closing some of the gaps so that more people have access to it. Mm -hmm. And that can be through mobile broadband, that can be through that, you know, through that sale gap funding and using your phone to, to sort of connect to that signal. So mm -hmm. we've, we've, we've got it better than it used to be. Now we want to get everybody connected to it, have access to connect to it, and then we'll start working with the federal and provincial government on, on continuing to increase it. Because as soon as, we're years behind. I mean, as soon as we get it to a certain point, everybody starts streaming Netflix on their phones and you know, you need to go to the next, right. to the next level. So I'm not sure we'll ever be caught up, but uh, we're, we're certainly heading in the right direction. And the uh, EOWC has been a big part of lobbying the, the different levels of government. I'm, I'm fairly optimistic we're gonna see an announcement there shortly. So I'm, I'm, I'm hoping great. some good news. That's great. And uh, this, this group, this EOWC, were they, was that self-organized by the, the various counties and so on that uh, came together? Yeah, that's a great question. Yeah. And you know what, I don't know the history yeah. of where it started or who came up with the idea to, you know, to get a regional organization. I know they were one of the first in the province. Mm -hmm. There is now a Western Ontario Wardens Caucus uh, that, you know, that does some good work for Western Ontario as well. Mm -hmm. um, the Eastern guys have sort of, sort of seemed to be at the forefront as far as organization and uh, in the last few years, we've come a long way in taking that list of priorities, which can be, you know, when you think of all these different organizations and different areas in the province, they all have their concerns. How do we get that? You know, when you go talk to the provincial government, you can't, mm -hmm. here's the 20 things that, you know, that we need help with. You right. need to get that down to something manageable and sort of work with the province on how can you work together, you know, to meet these okay. goals. What's a win for us is a win for the province as well. So well, that, um, sounds, that, that sounds great. And, uh,